Should I buy a Tesla Model 3 now or should I wait until the $35,000 uh, a standard range version is available next year. This question people ask me all the time and I figured I'm gonna answer it. Now, it just got harder to answer this question because before it was only short range, right, and a long range. Uh, well, now Tesla produced the mid range, uh, priced it at $45,000, but that's not where this number is. Literally, uh, within the last 24 hours, which is five days after announcing it, they changed it to $46,000. Okay, so now quick, uh, uh, quick, you know, uh, update on that because they also lowered the all-wheel drive version. So right now, if you were to compare a, 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 a mid-range and a long-range cars, and you compare kind of a similar options, like for example, if all-wheel drive existed as an option for the mid-range, and that would bring it up to $50,000, compared to $53,000 essentially tells you that you're paying just $3,000 for the long-range version, which adds 50 miles of range. So I, I feel like just be, you know, choosing between those two, I would suggest the long range just because it's only 3000 extra, you know, dollars, unless you're really, really uh, on the budget. But uh, let's talk about, you know, why, what, what, how you can make this decision. And obviously this is for those who are in the United States. So sorry, people in Canada in, um, in, in, uh, in Europe though, some of the, you might actually be lucky because the choice is kind of made for you. And I'll tell you why I think you're actually lucky and you are, you know, might be tempted, but won't be able to buy that car right now. Okay. So first of all, well, first of all, let me give a shout out to my sponsor, which is a climate exchange. They're a nonprofit organization. They're running a raffle of three different Teslas, but they're not selling more than $4,000 tickets. So three Teslas, $4,000 entries. So your chances are pretty damn good. Uh, much better. It looks like they need like a lot or whatever, but um, it's $250 to enter. Um, and I, again, United States only. I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of you want to buy it in Europe, but nevertheless, chances are awesome. Uh, the link is in the description of this video. And even if you don't win, you still will be doing a good deed by contributing to a nonprofit organization that's moving us forward to a low carbon e economy. Anyway, thank you to Climate Exchange. Back to our problems here. And let, let me just let you guys consider a, a, a few things things that I know you are um, uh, worried about. First of all, right now, if you buy a Model 3, you will not be able to lease it. You may be able to lease it sometime, maybe into the next year. Uh, and But just so you know, when you, and I always recommend like 95% of people should lease uh, their cars because at the very least you save on the sales tax. And in this case, on the base model of Model 3, you would save yourselves about over $3,000 if the sales tax is around 9% or so, okay? So that's the savings you're gonna get just by getting this car as a lease. Now remember that because we're gonna come back and do some math with that. Now, other things to remember is also, don't forget that there are bills in Congress that are, you know, can make a big difference both ways. One wants to completely abolish this, uh, uh, this uh, credit, so we won't have any credit whatsoever. OK, but the other one actually wants to keep the credit uh, and just set a time limit, I think, by 2022 when it expires for everybody. And we don't know which way it's going to go. Right. Especially with uh, our Congress here in the United States possibly going, you know, Democratic uh, and our president being Republican. We don't know what's going to happen with these bills. Um, so another thing to consider. Um, another one is. Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, do you, do you really need all this range? Right? Because to me, if a car has over 200 miles, it's good enough. I almost don't care if it has 200 miles, four or five or a thousand miles on it. There's only so much you can drive every day. You charge every, every overnight in your garage and you're good to go. Now I know some of you guys are still kind of figuring that out and, and charging and superchargers. And of course that's something that you need to figure out for yourselves. But generally speaking, the standard setup for, for a, in a start driving habits for any driver, you don't really care if the car has two or 300 miles. So you have to consider that. Do you really need all of this extra range anyway? But if we are just talking about the math, if you um, look at this $46,000 price and subtract this $7,500 credit uh, from it, and then you look at the $35,000 price, but apply only half of that credit, which is going to be cut in half starting January 1st, well, here's the math that you're getting, right? The now, the the, the mid-range would run you uh, $38,500, where with a half of the rebate next year, it will run you thirty-one, a little over $31,000. Now, that's a pretty significant difference. So if you are on a budget, and that's your main concern, but you still want a Model 3, 
by far, I would recommend to wait until there is a $35,000 version concern. Now, by the way, I don't know if you'll be able to get it by July, because in July, the uh, incentive will be cut in half again. Um, now, this time, obviously not by $37.50, it will be cut in by less than $2,000. But that that's why I was talking about uh, the lease, because you will be gaining that if you will lease and you will definitely offset the second cut which will come from july to december of 2019 okay so you should also worry and and know and estimate whether or not you are you know in line to get this car before july but back to this numbers if you think you're going to be able to get it before july or after july and you're going to lease it but and and, and your main concern is the price then I would definitely, definitely go with this with in wait for the Model 3 at the $35,000 uh, uh, mark. Uh, as, again, if if there are no bills that are passed to uh, abolish this, I don't think it will be. I mean, to be honest with you, it looks like Democrats are going to control one of the houses and they're not going to allow that. And it looks like you know, right now Republicans are busy with other things in Congress, so they probably won't get to this bill at all. There is a video on my channel, uh, my interview with a Congressman Welch, who is an author of one of those bills. You can check it out. It's in my on, right there on my homepage. Uh, pretty cool video, and just you know, it was kind of cool to have a congressman on, uh, you know, for once because there are always CEOs coming on all the time. But now we had a politician. All right, uh, what does it call it? Ha hashtag uh, uh, humble brag. Is that what it's called? I got, I got, I got to get on Instagram more often. Anyway. So I hope this helps. Uh, feel free to comment in the comment section because I will go in there and I try to either you know uh, reply to your comments or maybe make another video based on what other issues or problems or questions you guys have. So my recommendation again, if you're on a budget, is to go and wait for the $35,000 version. Hope this helps, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.